Our stretch of unseasonably warm weather continues yesterday. Our high temperature for the Hartford area, 86. That set a record today, topping out at 84. One degree shy of the record from 1979. Meanwhile, from Bridgeport, we tied the record from 1975 of 77 degrees. So for the Hartford area, we have only had uh, one, two, three, four, five days. Those blue squares with high temperatures below average. It is an unseasonably warm month and also uh, a month that has been very dry. Measurable rain only on three days, most recently over a week ago last Monday. So for the month of October to date, a deficit now approaching three inches and over six and a half inches going back to September 1st, the beginning of meteorological autumn. And at one point for the year, we had a surplus of over nine inches, and that has been whittled down to now less than an inch. Uh, so temperatures here in the 11 o'clock hour, say southeast of 84 in the mid and upper 50s, a little bit milder along the northwest of the 84 corridor. Mild regardless, and that's the way it will remain through the overnight hours. A clear sky overhead looking live from Hartford 60 with a calm wind, and as well, uh, tranquil really statewide from our view in New Haven where we're at 58 degrees. So high pressure offshore today, we've had a bit of a southerly flow to our wind. That's going to increase some low-level moisture, so we could see some patchy fog develop as we head toward daybreak. So your first alert to perhaps a little reduced visibility for the morning commute. Otherwise, we're watching this cold front move through the western Great Lakes and as it arrives late tomorrow and early Thursday it's not going to have a whole lot of moisture to work with unfortunately. So for tonight uh, temperatures bottom out for most in the 50 to 55 degree range and taking to town by town for your Wednesday afternoon mid 70s through the hills of Litchfield County 73 for Goshen 75 Washington as well as for Thomaston in around the greater Hartford area 75 to near 80 78 for Windsor close to 80 in Suffield 77 for Glastonbury uh, mid 70s throughout the quiet corner of Northeast Connecticut 76 for Pomfret store 75 Plainfield 74 and along the shoreline with that onshore breeze lower 70s but a little bit farther inland uh, mid 70s so 73 Old Saybrook 75 Portland 74 Branford 74 for Ansonia so uh, check a first alert future cast tomorrow before that front gets here that's going to be approaching winds out of the southwest and getting a bit stronger as the day progresses we could see gusts 20 to 25 miles now that's why we've got that red flag warning in place that if a fire were to start, it could rapidly spread and also be difficult to contain. The front moves through tomorrow night with a little fanfare, some scattered clouds, maybe some sprinkles, no meaningful rain. And then behind the front, the wind becomes more north and northwesterly, and that wind uh, on Thursday could still gust 20 to 25 miles an hour. So the fire threat continues uh, as we head through Thursday, especially with that northwesterly wind. Not only will cooler air be arriving, but also much drier air. Dew point values tomorrow could get close to 60. We're back in the 30s by Thursday afternoon. High temperatures Thursday afternoon, uh, low and mid 60s, inland for many communities, mid and upper 60s along the 95 quarters. So on our first alert seven day forecast, turning even cooler as we close out the week, upper 30s, Thursday night, early Friday, between 60 and 65 as we end the week, uh, a Friday afternoon. We'll see a blend of sun and clouds on Saturday, perhaps at times more clouds and sunshine. Another cold front's gonna be moving through. Uh, the American model painting the scene here where we could see maybe a little moisture to work with some scattered showers. Meanwhile, the European model uh, showing a dry passage. We'll take anything we can get at this point, but not even enough to put on the uh, seven day forecast. Behind the front, most notable, the downturn in temperature Sunday, 10 degrees cooler compared to Saturday. Highs in the mid 50s, upper 50s on Monday. That's pretty typical for late October. And then back in the low and mid 60s by next Tuesday. Mark, thank you very much. Still ahead.